One by one, tourists jump in, equipped with masks and fins, floating over this marine sanctuary. But the coral beneath their bodies is suffering, and a new study blames this sunscreen. I love snorkeling. I've been coming to the Keys for years. Krista Crissetti douses her young children in sunscreen, but never looked at the label. I never thought that the very corals that we're trying to teach about and educate people about were killing by just by putting the sunscreen on. But according to a new study conducted by Italian scientists, some chemicals in many sunscreen products bleaches coral. This graduate student at the University of Miami explains. Especially if you have a lot of sunscreen over a long period of time, say a small reef with a lot of people visiting it every day throughout the summer, you're going to increase the amount of these chemicals on that reef, which can potentially cause some serious problems to those corals. Some international resorts have gone so far as to ban chemical sunscreens from their beaches. And on this snorkel cruise in Key West, one local marine biologist is doing the same exact thing. And even though the study is being debated now a lot, whether, you know, the concentrations that they used were artificially high or the conditions were not exactly as they would be at the reef, I think that their research was compelling enough that it's worth it to just do it just in case. Sherry Hitz is the founder of Sea Savvy Snorkeling Tours. She joins me in the water for a look at part of the Barrier Reef, the third largest reef in the world. In just the first few minutes of our swim, we spot signs of coral bleaching. I have been in the Florida Keys since 2003, which is only five years, which is not a long time frame to be looking at changes, and there's definitely been changes even in that five-year period. Sherry shows me alternatives to chemical sunscreen, natural products which actually block out the sun with zinc or titanium oxide, a healthier alternative, not just for the coral. If you are using this stuff on your skin all the time, you are, in fact, less likely to develop skin cancer because you are blocking the sun, but if you do get one, it's going to be the worst kind there is, which is the melanoma. And she says sometime soon, scientists will create sunscreen that isn't just good for coral, but that actually comes from coral. In high definition, for VOOM HD News, I'm Jennifer Santiago in Key West, Florida.